I went for a quick walk into Hobby Lobby. There is something about Hobby Lobby that just relaxes me. Um, it's different from Michael's and it's different from Joanne's. It's just beautiful. Like everything you would ever want in your house, this is how you would become a hoarder. Like I can understand, I can become a hoarder like the TV show very easily messing around with Hobby Lobby because I literally want everything in this store, in my house. Like in my apartment, in my house, wherever I live, I want everything in this store in my place. I mean, just look at the beauty of it all. Like you just want to find a spot for it all. So I just love to come in here and, and dream and see and walk around. They're getting ready for the fall. Only thing I don't like is they took their coupons away. So there used to be 40% off, 30% off coupons like Michael's and like Joanne's Fabrics. Look, I love gnomes. Oh, my gosh. Um, now it's just everything is on sale. Everything is on some type of sale. There is no coupon. So that's the only thing I don't like about it now. Um, I am going to come get some fall decor for my um, setup table for the fall. I love these books. Beautiful. Now, yes. Similar items can be found at Target and Walmart when it comes to little trinkets um, for less. But Hobby Lobby just has some of the neatest, neatest things. You know, I do comparison shop, but if I see something I want, I get it. But, oh my gosh, this store, just to go in here, look at the beat. Oh. Just to go in here and just walk around and just walk around and just clear your mind and just look at the different things, ideas, and beauty. It's crazy. I did find a welcome sign at the Dollar Tree um, when I left here. Um, of course, it wasn't as big as the ones that they had in here. Um, so yeah, but because I like to change my welcome signs up with the seasons, I don't wanna spend 10, $15 on each welcome sign unless I can like save them or put them up. Not only that, I would have to see y'all let me know. The ones from the Dollar Tree do get warped um, after a while from being outside in the rain and the weather. So do the welcome signs at Hobby Lobby, are they sturdier? Are they built better? Do they not get, you know, I don't want to pay the same price for something that, that, what am I trying to say, that doesn't last the same. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to pay $15 in Hobby Lobby, $1.25 in the Dollar Tree, and the one at Hobby Lobby doesn't last either. That's what I'm saying. I am not into cows, y'all, but that, <laughs> see what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? Look at the little houses, the gnomes, the animals. It's just whatever you need. Look at the turtle. Whatever you need. Hobby Lobby is one of those places you can go in there and just, oh my gosh. Half the time, even today, I did not buy anything. I just wanted to walk in here and have some retail therapy and relax my mind. I bought absolutely nothing. Got some ideas, but I bought absolutely nothing. I just, I don't know who created this store, but look at the pig. See, this is why our grandparents had a whatnot shelf. Y'all remember the whatnot shelf, the trinket shelf? This is why our grandparents, and I think because I grew up under that, I love all of this stuff. Surprisingly, I do not have a whatnot shelf. I do have some whatnots and items on my table in my living room, but I do not have a whatnot shelf yet. It may be coming because I promise you, I cannot continue to go on without buying them. Ooh, lady, you see me without buying this stuff. I mean, look, y'all, old school cooler. Y'all see the pink cooler? So cute. So cute. If you want to do your kitchen, your room, your bathroom. I actually went in the back looking for a planner. I'm looking for another planner. We're at the half of the year. I did not find what I was looking for. Look at this. Adorable. Um, I did, I'm going to Barnes and Nobles. And if I don't find a planner that I'm looking for, I'm going to order the most similar one that I found on Amazon. But I actually came in here to look for a planner. Um, and I saw a girl on TikTok. She got nail charms from here. She uses their charms, their buttons, their trinkets as nail charms. Awesome idea. Reasonably priced. So when I do come in here to select my nail charms, I will. So I'm trying to say that when I do come in to get the charms, I will definitely, um, oh, I'm back in the car. Let me put my seatbelt on, y'all. Sorry. Um, I will definitely record that for y'all so y'all can see what kind of nail charms they have just to give you guys some ideas as well. 
So I hope you enjoyed this little walk with me through Hobby Lobby. And if you enjoy these little walks, I will take you guys along with me again. Just comment below and let me know, especially if you don't have a Hobby Lobby or a store like this in your area. I have absolutely no problem bringing you guys along. I hope you enjoyed the video, the blogs. I'm open to ideas, and I'll see you guys next time.